I got a question for you. What would you think of a multi-millionaire candidate who has this kind of attitude about people working minimum wage jobs to support a family? Well, guess what? Minimum wage was never supposed to be a living wage. It was minimum wage jobs were generally entry level jobs that high school or college kids took. And it was a way to teach you at that age, I don't want to be in this job the rest of my life. I better work hard in school or work hard or get a get a technical skill, be it electrician or a plumber or whatever it is. So I'm not stuck in this job in another five, 10 years. One million Americans work for $7.25 an hour or less. A whole lot of them are moms who might find it challenging to squeeze in some electrician training. But Hovde also has thoughts on workers who did go to college. I, I think the, one of the un, unfortunate things about this whole culture, my child has to go to a four-year college, if we, is we've diverted far too many people into a four-year college getting a lot of degrees that they come out with that you really you can't do much with other than being a barista at Starbucks. I'm, I'm nothing against a history major or, you know, uh, whatever it studies that you got no skill to take and do that with. It might bug me a little less if Eric Hovde could point to his wealth, estimated to be well north of $100 million, and show how he earned it from the beginning but he can't because he's got a company started by his grandfather. Here's the point. We do need people with history degrees. We need artists. We need those people working in service jobs, food prep, health care, personal care, transportation, agriculture, and building maintenance. Remember when folks called them frontline heroes at the start of the pandemic until they suggested raising the minimum wage for the first time in 15 years? The psychology books have studied this extensively. Dependency and entitlement are very destructive things. I think Hovde might have engaged in some self-diagnosis when he also said this. Wealth and inherited wealth often is a destructive thing because, again, it goes back to dependency and entitlement. And quite often, kids from very wealthy families uh, can never launch. They've been too spoiled, they've been too entitled, and, and pampered their whole life. Man, I love making these silly commercials.